Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 29 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So I know some of you are excited to see stuff like uh, screen overlays and stuff like that uh, for controllers, uh, but we're not going to do that till kind of the end of the series uh, where we start porting to Android and testing it on the Android. So you guys are just going to have to wait. Sorry about that. So in this tutorial, we are going to be creating our final enemy uh, for this series, and it's going to be the turtle. And so what we're going to do with the turtle is make him move left and right, uh, allow uh, Mario to jump on its head and turn him into a turtle shell. Um, we're also going to implement uh, adding turtles anywhere in our game uh, through tiled. Uh, so if you're interested in learning how to do that, go ahead and stick with me. So I'm going to warn you right now, uh, this tutorial is going to include a lot of copying and pasting from previous classes, uh, including the Mario and uh, the Goomba class. Uh, this is to save time, uh, so I hope you guys don't mind. Let's go ahead and start off by copying these uh, variables from our Goomba class. Then we're going to create a new uh, class inside of our enemies folder called Turtle. And Turtle is going to extends enemy. And then we need to bring in all the required methods. So let's generate uh, implement methods. And so it requires at least these three. And then we're also going to generate a constructor. And then we're going to go ahead and paste uh, these variables inside. Now, in addition to these variables, a turtle has different states. A Goomba only has a walking state. Um, a turtle can be a shell or be walking. So let's add a public enum state and say walking or shell. And then since we have that public state, uh, current state and public state, previous state like we did in our Mario class. Now looking at the turtle sprite sheet, we're going to use these first two textures for uh, the walking animation. And then we're going to use this turtle shell uh, by itself uh, for the turtle shell. Uh, I think in the original Mario, it alternates between these two, but it's extra work. You guys already know how to do it, so we're just going to use just this specific turtle shell. So let's get started by adding to our frames here. Frames equals new array... This is a texture region array, and then we'll say frames.add new texture region, and then we get screen.getatlas.find region, and we're finding the region name turtle. Now the first frame is it's zero on the x-axis, zero on the y-axis, and it's a 16 by 24 pixel uh, region. We're gonna copy this and paste it here. And then the next one starts at 16. So those are our two uh, walking animation frames. Now let's say um, shell equals new. Uh, let's just paste this here. We'll just edit this out. There we go. So shell will equal a new texture region. It might be beneficial if we had shell up here. So private. Uh, texture region shell there we go let's define our walk animation equals new animation and it's going to take in a uh, float value to f and then our frames next let's set our bounds or actually let's go ahead and uh, declare our current state equals our previous state equals uh, walking now let's set the bounds of our sprite by, you guessed it, set bounds. And then we'll use get x, get y. Um, and then I know this is a 16 divided by Mario Bros.ppm. And then 24 divided by Mario Bros.ppm. Go back to your uh, Goomba class here, and we're going to copy everything inside of the define enemy here. And we're going to go ahead and paste it inside of the turtle here. Um, and this is because uh, we're just defining them the same. They're both enemies. They collide with the same thing. Basic body structure is similar. So let's work on the hit on head method. What do we want uh, to be done when a turtle gets hit on the head? Well, we want the turtle to stop and turn into a shell. So let's code that. Um, if current state does not equal uh, shell, 
then what we want to do is we want to say current state equals a shell but we also want to set the velocity velocity dot x to equal zero that'll stop it okay so with the update method let's talk about what we're going to do the first thing we're going to set the uh, sprites uh, region the texture region what graphic do we want to show second we want to see if uh, the turtle has been in the shell for greater than five seconds if he has been in shell form for greater than five seconds wake him up and start walking again uh, third we want to set the position of our sprite where we're going to draw the sprite equal to our box 2d body where he the box 2d body is and then third we want to make sure that we set the velocity of our box 2d body uh, based off of whether he's going left or going right and maybe it switches when he collides with an object so set region and we'll say get frame uh, dt and we're going to create that method later um, then we'll say if current state equals shell uh, and the state time is greater than five then the current state equals walking and for now we're just going to set velocity dot x equal to one we're going to change that later on probably then we're going to set the position of our sprite to be equal to our box 2d body dot get position dot x minus uh, get width divided by two in this one the y-axis I had to fadangle a little bit um, to make it look right so you're just gonna have to trust me on this one b2 body dot uh, get position dot y minus eight divided by mario bros dot ppm and you can adjust these things on your own and see what looks good for you guys um, finally b2 body dot set linear velocity to our velocity so let's create the get region method um, public texture region get frame actually float delta time the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a texture region called region. Then we're going to switch the current state similar to we did in the Mario class and we'll say case that she, he is a shell. Then the region equals the shell texture that we created above and we'll break that. And then the case that um, he is walking or the default case the region equals walk animation dot get keyframe dot and that it will pass it the state time and say that it is a looping variable and then we'll break that now by default the texture for the walking uh, turtle is facing left so if he's walking to the right and he's facing left we need to flip him so let's do that if um, velocity dot x is greater than zero aka walking to the right um, and the region dot is flip x equals false it's not flipped over then we need to uh, region dot flip and then true in the x axis false in the y axis and this is uh, exactly the same if he's walking uh, right or he's walking to the left but he is flipped um, so if he if he's walking to the left or the velocity is less than zero um, and he is not flipped then we need to also flip him the other direction so I'm going to copy a few lines from our Mario class at the bottom of the get frame method there's these three lines right here and we're going to paste it into our turtle class and all this is saying is uh, set the state time uh, to uh, zero if the current state isn't equal to the previous state which means it's transitioned into states if if the states stay the same then just add to uh, the state time okay and then it's setting the previous state equal to the current state and then returning our region okay now let's go to our world creator we're going to create a new array a private array of turtles and we're going to call these turtles and make sure we import down there now scroll to the bottom I want you to copy this right here 
we're gonna just paste it right below and change all the Goombas to turtles. Turtles, we're gonna make this a, a turtle array. We are going to get map layer seven, which will be the new one we're gonna create in tiled. Then we're gonna say uh, turtles.add and create a new turtle, blah, blah, blah. So now let's make a method that returns all the enemies, not just the Goombas, but the turtles as well. So a uh, public array enemy get enemies. And so we'll create a array of enemy. Yes, that's the one. And then we'll say, we'll just call this enemies equals new array enemy then we'll say enemies dot add all goombas and enemies dot add all turtles and then return enemies simple as that now i want you to open up tiled we are going to create a new layer here and a new object layer and call this turtles now we can just use this rectangular map object here and I'm using command uh, click on my Mac to place a turtle in a perfect square right there. So one turtle there and let's add a turtle between this block and I don't know. Let's add a uh, let's add a turtle down here as well for kicks. So make sure you save that up here, then go back to Android Studios. And I forgot inside of our turtle class here, um, I set the shell region that says it starts at zero, which is the exact same as the first frame in our walk animation, which can't be the case. So let's set this to 64, which is uh, the pixel in which the uh, shell animation starts. So hitting the run button here, let's go explore. We got a turtle coming at me. Jumped on its head, he turned into a shell. Let's wait a couple seconds. Oh, he comes at me again. Let's go explore all these other turtle positions. We got one turtle there. Um, where was our final turtle? He was over here somewhere. There we go. And I never set these blocks to collidable, so that's why he didn't do it. So we'll have to change that in another tutorial. We totally did it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Of course, we still got more things to do with this turtle, like having Mario kick the turtle and hit collide with enemies and kill Goombas and stuff like that. We'll talk about those later on. Uh, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. But more importantly, please share it if you do like it. Of course, trying to grow this channel, and you guys have been an amazing help. Uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. So here's a little homework for you guys if you're interested, you know, maybe feeling a little frisky on the weekend. Um, I want you to redesign the body for turtles and Goombas because right now there are a few cases in which Mario is really high in the air. Maybe he jumped off a platform and he's coming really fast. His velocity is really fast. So he actually goes through the head of uh, the enemy and he actually collides also not just with the head but with a body causing him to either shrink or die and you're like what the heck i hit him from the head i i shouldn't have taken any damage um so i want you to redesign uh the goomba or the turtle so that doesn't happen maybe later on um we'll redesign it ourselves uh but for now it works in most cases you get the general premise so i'm going to go ahead and leave it the way it is but i want to see you guys' designs so let me know how it goes